Hey guys, so today I know I haven't basically been on YouTube or uploaded a video in about a month and a half and I don't know, I kind of took half of September and all of October to just kind of think and think of what I wanted to do for this channel, on this channel, what I wanted to start creating, what I wanted to upload, things like that. And I kind of figured that I wanted to stick in the beauty realm of videos, but I also wanted to kind of branch out and do other things in beauty videos like style and hair and things like that. And I also want to do more vlogs and just branch out a little bit more. Um, so I'm just going to kind of ease myself back into doing videos and I'm going to do a makeup haul. Um, in the past month and a half I've done quite a bit of shopping. Some of these things I have had for quite some time, but um, I just figured I would share with you guys what I got and just kind of ease myself into the making of videos. So, um, Sephora today and throughout the weekend, they're having their 20% off VIB sale. So you get this bag and no, I didn't buy all these things at once. So if you're like, oh my God, that's a ton of stuff. Yes, it is a ton of stuff, but I didn't buy all this at once. So if you're like freaking out, no, I did not. Um, and some of this stuff isn't even from Sephora, like some of it's from MAC, some of it's from Nordstrom, so, you know. Um, so the first thing that I have is the Too Faced A La Mode Eyes, and this is just a, uh, palette that I've been wanting forever. It came out during the summer, I believe, and I got it on sale. I think I got it for, like, $16 or something crazy like that from um, Nordstrom Rack and I made sure that nobody had swatched it or touched it. The box was a little sketchy but like the actual inside was like sealed and I was actually really impressed that it was sealed because Nordstrom is usually a little bit questionable. Um, so then I got this little guy, which I'm so excited about. Um, NARS every holiday season comes out with a new palette, and normally it's a blush palette. And this is the blush palette for Christmas. This is the um, Virtual Domination Cheek Palette, and I'm so excited. It's absolutely gorgeous. The packaging is amazing, as always. And the shades are Miss Liberty, Sex Fantasy, Deep Throat, Final Cut, and Laguna. And I have been super into Laguna bronzer as of lately. Um, and I love that it's matte and I love that I have a new one. I have the Guy Bourdain Bourdain one from last year, but I really like this palette and I'm super excited about it. Um, and I'll definitely have it in my next video, which is going to be a fall makeup tutorial, which is actually going to be this look because so many people gave me so many compliments today and I was like, I'm doing a video on this. So anyways, um, the next thing that I have is super important no matter what look you're doing. This is the NARS Smudge Proof Pro Prime Eyeshadow Base. It is the best eyeshadow primer I have ever used. It does not smudge. It stays on. It keeps your, um eyeshadow from creasing it's just amazing and I love it and I still have my Urban Decay one but I just this one is so amazing and then the next product that I got that I've never heard really anybody talk about and I don't know if it's like a new product or if it just came out or what but it's by Laura Mercier and it's the fairy dust eye shimmer and I got it in crushed amethyst because I was like maybe this will kind of make my eyes pop a little bit and so I wore this throughout Disney um, my mom and I went last weekend for her birthday, and I love this. I'm not too crazy about how you actually am supposed to apply it. It comes with, like, a little brush, and it has, like, a weird way of dispensing it. But, I mean, you know, whatever. I still really like the product, so, and it wears really well, and it's super shimmery and glittery, and I love it. So I can't really complain, so that's just, you know, a minor detail. Um, the next thing that I got is something that I love. I'm not too crazy about the lip color for this season, but obviously when it becomes spring and summer, it'll be great. This is the Melted Marshmallow Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick by Too Faced. I already have the Melted Violet one, and I love it. And this one is just like a really nice pink shade. It's very baby pink, and obviously I'm not going to be wearing it during fall and winter, but... It's a really nice shade for summer and spring. So, speaking of the whole 
like, you know, lip color trends and stuff that's going on. Everybody wants the perfect Kylie Jenner lip look. And I am one of them. I really want to find my perfect Kylie Jenner lip look, and I'm pretty sure that I have. Um, so I use Whirl Lip Liner, which I love. I don't know how I've gone so long without having it. It's amazing. Love this lip liner. And then Velvet Teddy, which, again, I don't know why I have gone so long without this lipstick. I use this so much. I'm going to need a new one by the end of winter um, because I love it so much and I wear it so much and it's just like perfect. It goes with everything. It goes with every outfit, every eye look. I mean, it's just amazing. And then over the top of that, because sometimes having a matte lip look is amazing, but your lips get dry. So I like using um, the MAC Lip Gloss in See Through. I really like this. I got the little $10 one that they have at like the checkout, but I'm definitely going to be getting the bigger version because I love this lip gloss. Like I wear it on its own, over the top of Velvet Teddy, or Strip Poker by MAC from the Kelly Osbourne collection. I just, I love it. And then another lipstick that kind of goes in the whole Kylie Jenner makeup lipstick look is the new NARS range of lipsticks. They have amazing nude shades and amazing like red and pink shades and this one is Raquel and I just love this. It's gorgeous. I kind of got it hoping it would be um, like a dupe for strip poker. It's not exactly a dupe for strip poker, but it's gorgeous and I love it. And I'll use Whirl Lip Liner with it and it's just amazing. I love the packaging. It's magnetic and I don't know. I just love this product so much and I'm like trying not to use it a ton because I'm like, I gotta save it, but I'm like, why did I buy it if I'm not gonna use it? So anyways, the next product that I got is probably the most expensive besides the NARS palette and this is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Now if you have, if you know me personally, you know um, I don't really like primers for my face because I'm always scared I'm going to break out. But I took the plunge about four weeks ago and bought the little um, 18 size, $18 sized one. Um, which I have been using so much and I love it. It doesn't break me out at all and it makes my foundation stay on so much longer. Like right now, you can't really tell because I have had this makeup on for at least 12 hours, but my contour stays and my blush stays, well I'm not wearing any blush today, but my highlight stays and everything just kind of stays put for just that much longer. And it's all because of this guy, and I love it. So I went ahead and bought the bigger bigger size version, even though it is like $50. But it's so worth it, because I'm kind of one of those people that as long as your base looks good, everything else is going to look good. And if your base stays on, everything else is going to stay on. So it's, you know, it's really worth it buying you know, the stuff that's going to work, whether it's, you know, a $5 primer or a $50 primer. It just, it's whatever works for your skin. And then the next thing that I got that I have been loving, and I have it on my waterline right now, is the Marc Jacobs Eau Beige uh, eyeliner. And it's just a really pretty um, eyeliner. I don't know. I just kind of saw this. I saw that it was new. And I was like, I really like my nice one. So why not get this one? Because I'm really into the really light um, eyeliners for your waterline. Oh my gosh. I didn't know that. I just like pulled this out and it has a sharpener on it. I didn't know it did that. That is so cool. That makes sense now. Because like every time I would like, you know, like go to twist it up, it would be like really loose. And I would always think like it was broken or something. Oh my god, that is so cool. Okay, anyways, um, I know that this eyeliner is not exactly budget friendly, but they stay on forever and they look so good and I love the packaging and Marc Jacobs products are just amazing in general, so kind of love it. And then two products that I got today, um, besides the NARS and the Hourglass, is the Glam Glow Mud Mask. I got just the Youth Mud, like the original 
little guy. This is $19, but I've heard that you just need a tiny, tiny bit to get results. So I'm going to actually wear or do this tonight. Um, hopefully I don't break out in the morning because I'm going to a concert and I'm sitting front row and I don't want to scare Philip Phillips. So anyways, um, then I got the, my mom and I every year to become VIB rogue or rouge or whatever it's called or however you say it, you have to spend a thousand dollars. And that was kind of easy for me this year. Um, so I got to renew my VIB rouge rogue whatever account. So they gave out the formula X, um, X hearts rouge rogue whatever nail polish from Formula X and I love Formula X I got the nail polish in Anarchy and I love it it's like just amazing and it's so I just I love it so much and then my mom and I like today we were like matching nail polishes like with this go with that and stuff so anyways that is the end of this haul the next haul is going to be more like clothing and that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you have any video ideas leave them down below because I'm definitely taking recommendations or suggestions or whatever um so yeah I'll see you guys later um and my Instagram and Twitter are down below